What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Firstly, thank you guys so much for the continued support over the last day and a half to two days here. It's blown me away, seriously. I said it in the vlog yesterday, but truly, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate all of it. But today, what we're going to be talking about is new game content coming to Black Ops 3, or rather some updates also that may be in on top of new game content here in Black Ops 3. So with this one, a few days ago on January 8th, David Von Arnar tweeted out, we are working on bugs, new features, game tuning, and new game content. It's hard out here for a COD pimp. So with that, a lot of people made a lot of speculations as to what exactly we could see here. And a few days later, it's a little bit more clear as to what it could potentially be and maybe even some actual hints at what some of it will be. The first one being something that he tweeted out later as in yesterday. It was a poll to raise the team deathmatch score limit or not, to which it would be raised to 100 rather than 75. And at this current point in time, the poll is sitting at 86% in favor of raising it to 100 and 14% in favor of leaving it at 75. So if this is an accurate indication as to what we could see here, it's looking like TDM is going to have a max score increase here up to 100, which will elongate the games a little bit more and offer a little bit more in terms of what we can see in gameplay in TDM. So that's something very cool here, but what else could we be seeing within this new content that he mentioned? One of the big things that I think is very plausible is one in the chamber returning for Black Ops 3. As you guys can see on screen right now, massive thank you to Mr. Jarney here. He's the one that allowed me to use this footage. We're only going to show a brief little bit here of it, but as you can see in the PlayStation 3 files, you can actually find that one of the chamber is in the game files and you can pull it up and actually bring it into a custom game here. So Black Ops 3 does have one of the chamber in the game code. It's just a matter of if it will actually come into the public playlists. And now finally, this last piece that I wanna discuss with you guys a little bit here deals a little bit with multiplayer and a little bit with zombies. This one, digging through code here, we can actually find things such as the Time Bomb, the Ray Gun Mark II, the Peacekeeper, the Barrett 57, as well as the PDW and DSR here here in leftover code, whether or not that's just copy and pasted from Black Ops 2 and actually just leftover code, not making it in the game, that is something I think is a little bit more plausible, but there is some stuff within the game code that does hint maybe otherwise, such things being a weapon called the Venom Haze, that being in the game code as Venom Haze underscore MP and Venom Haze underscore ZM, which hints at both a multiplayer and zombies weapon. And the last thing here is something that is really interesting because it goes Goes along with the specialist leaks that were just supposedly rumored leaks here in Black Ops 3 of specialist DLC but something that's already in the game code, one of those was actually talking about a water specialist, one that uses water to his advantage. What's interesting is that in the game code specifically, there is specialist underscore hero underscore ability underscore water thruster boost and specialist underscore hero underscore weapon underscore water cannon. That is really interesting here because a lot of people thought this was something that was just a little bit too absurd to make it into Black Ops 3's multiplayer, but as you can see by code actually pulled from the game files, that is actually something written in the game files itself. So is it something we could be seeing here within the near future with new game content like David Vonderhaar is talking about? Or do you think this is just all a little bit too far-fetched here? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And also, if so, what would you like to see come to Black Ops 3 here as new game content? It's not limited to anything. So if there's anything you'd want to see, I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. It really does help the video as well as the channel out. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. So I'm working to get a second video up here today. Hopefully that actually does happen. Hopefully I have time before I have to head out to work. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.